Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our partner 54. Inside this video, we will see all about scaffolding files of level bridge authentication. In the last video, we had successfully installed level bridge authentication package. So if you go to the next step, also, we had discussed that if you are familiar with the older versions of Laravel, so you had the concept of Laravel UI. So in the latest version of Laravel, the Taylor Otwell has released the authentication package as Laravel JetStream. Inside this JetStream, we have two packages for scaffolding files or let's say for all the scaffolding features like LeafWire and Inertia.js. But these packages are totally different from Laravel UI. So for those developers who has used Laravel UI is not too much comfortable with Laravel JetStream package. So that's why they filed several complaints against this package that this is not too much comfortable to use. So give me a solution. So Taylor Otwell has released another package called Laravel page which is similar kind or let's say familiar as what we had called Laravel UI. So inside last video we had installed this package and also generated our scaffolding features like login and registration. Also, we have several files behind the scene called forget password and profile. So first of all, let's do a registration inside that. So click on register, go here I am passing let's say a dummy email password is from 1 to 8. If I copy this email address, click on register so confirm password is required so successfully as we can see that we have registered to this laravel like bridge authentication dashboard so this is another scaffolding file called a dashboard page so successfully now as we had seen that we have an email like for the login now when we click on this logout button as we can see successfully we had now logged out. So by installing Laravel Bridge we have now the features of login. Here we have the feature of forget password. When we click on that it provides a layout. Simply we need to pass an email address and after passing email address when we click on that it will send an email to that email address. We have the feature of register. So scaffolding provides all about login registration, forget password, dashboard and logout feature. So how can we find the scaffolding files related with Breeze? So back to editor. This is our setup where we had installed Laravel Breeze authentication. So first of all, go inside this routes folder. Inside this routes folder we have auth.php which is the main route folder or let's say main route file for the bridge authentication where we have imported several packages each package has their own different role now if i scroll down here inside this auth.php we have a register route which is using get request type to render our layout this is for the post request type when we fill data inside registration form and click on submit so it will hit this route. So in the same way we have the login to present the layout using get request type. After passing details when we submit it is going to hit this login route using post request type. Here we have get forget password post forget password so inside this auth.php as we can see that we have very simple routes and inside each of the route we have a controller associated so here we have verify email verification notification confirm password here we have the confirm password means this is change password option and the logout feature so let's say that we want to find all about our register page so here we have the register route with the get request type and it is hitting or using the method called create from registered user controller. 
So inside this registered user controller, we have a create method. So where we will find this registered user controller? So go here. And here we have registered user controller, which is inside app, HTTP controllers folder. And inside controllers folder, we have a auth folder. So go inside app, HTTP controllers. After controller, we have auth folder. And inside this auth folder, next we should have a file called registered user controller. So go inside this folder and find registered user controller.php. Now inside this controller, we have a create method. So keep in mind, for our register layout, we had used the create method. So inside this create method, simply it is returning a view template file, which is from auth folder and the file name is something register.blade.php. So to find our view file, go inside resources folder, views folder, and inside this views folder, next we have a auth folder. So here we have auth and inside this auth, we have register.blade.php. So this is the template file or layout file, which is rendering all about the register layout. So for now, to understand that it is the layout, what I will do simply cut all the code. Let's say delete all the code, save this file, go to browser, click on register. And as we can see, now we have a simply blank page. So it indicates that this file currently what we have opened is used for register layout. So save this change again, go and reload this page. Now we have a register layout. If I back to editor to understand little about something, let's say for the input fields. So inside this, we have X hyphen guest layout x hyphen auth card here we have x hyphen slot keep in mind when we had learned about components in laravel inside the same playlist then where we had seen the concept of x hyphen so this is x hyphen which is a prefix of component and this is our component class name so it indicating that we have or internally laravel bridge uses the component based concept so if we want to find this x hyphen guest layout means this is the component. If we are interested to find that, simply go inside this app folder. And inside this app folder, we have a view folder. Inside this view, we have components folder. And inside this components folder, here is the file called guest layout.php. So if I open this file and inside this guest layout, which is a class, Inside this random method, it is returning a layout means a guest file from layouts folder. So again, we need to go inside resources, views folder. Inside this views folder, we have a layouts folder and this is guest.blade.php. So behind the scene guys, this is the layout template what actually this page is currently using. So if we add some classes inside this, let's say for this div or let's say inside this body, so simply for now to understand if I type, let's say online web tutor, let's say custom class. If we save this file, go and reload this page, click on inspect. And if we go inside this body tag, as we can see, we have added successfully a custom class. So this is all about guest.blade.php. Now again, if we go inside this register layout, next we have a form tag. Inside this form, this is all about a register route using post request type. This is all about we have the CSRF token. Next we have a name input field. Keep in mind to create an input field, again we have used X hyphen. It means it is using the component based concept. Now, if we are interested to find this name field, name input field, or let's say our component file, press control B. And right now inside this resources folder, we have a views folder. And inside this views folder, we will have a components folder. And inside this components folder, we have input.blade.php, 
which is indicating all about our input component what we have used inside register.blade.php so if we open that and inside this as we can see that we have our input here we have enable disabled attribute next as we can see it is actually fetching or inheriting all the attributes what we have passed here so by default from the installation part as we understood that behind the scene this laravel bridge is using or let's say laravel bridge is powered by bleed and tailwind it is the css features what provided by this tailwind so if we don't want to use the Talwind CSS classes, so simply we can put our bootstrap classes inside this attribute and we can use the bootstrap enabled features. So this is all about for the name field. If we want to customize, simply we need to pass any extra attributes here or simply get rid of this component based concept and we can create our own HTML element here. Next we have the email address same we have the password confirm password and finally we have our submit button so this is for the already registered and we have a register submit button again if we go inside this let's say controller registered controller here we have let's say a create method which is actually indicating or displaying our register layout next we have inside the same controller we have a store method which is hitting via post request type so inside this store method simply again we go inside this auth.php file so go here inside this auth.php inside this auth.php via this post request type we are hitting our store method of registered user controller so inside this store method again go back to our controller and inside this store method simply we are putting our form validation method using validate method here we have checking that is user has been logged in or not so if user does not exist it is simply going to create a new user and register into the database so this is all about registered user controller again if we go inside our login controller again if we go inside auth.php and inside this auth.php for the login routes here we have the get request type and here we have the post request type and it is using authenticated session controller so for this authentication authenticated session controller we need to go inside app http controllers auth folder and this is our controller file now inside this controller file we have a create method which is displaying all about the login layout and next we have a store method inside this store method it is interesting to see that we have a custom request class called login request keep in mind already we have covered about this custom request class to validate inside our previous videos so it is using behind the scene the same concept so before using this custom request class we have imported and it is created inside this app http so here we have http folder next we need to go inside request and here we have a auth folder and inside this auth folder we have login request inside this class we have authorized method and also we have rules method and this is authenticated which is going to check via email address and the password and proceed further next we have ensure is not rate limited so these are the features or methods added inside this login request and successfully we are using this login request class inside our controller so this is all about guys scaffolding features and the files and one more thing before closing this video if we go inside this routes folder here we have the custom route file which is generated by laravel bridge package and if we go again to web.php which is the main standard file for laravel routes configuration and here at the footer we can find that after installing scaffolding files it has generated a new route file but this file has been included 
inside this main configuration file called web.php via require php command and this is including auth.php which is attaching all these scaffolding routes with the laravel application so if we want to change anything inside this laravel beach package simply we can customize all about the controllers what we had discussed as well as the layout files what we have found inside this resources folder resources folder inside this auth folder and we can customize all about the component based files so this is all about guys the idea behind the laravel beach scaffolding files so in the next video we will see some more different concept so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day